Hello, and welcome to my arena. Let's play version 2. Yeah, what happened is, is um, some vials got lost, stuff like that. So, I decided, let's just start fresh. I'm good. This is going to be 10 times better because that was my first time ever recording for a Let's Play. So, I didn't forget. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is mount C. Duck, sorry. Mount your C drive. And then, if you need to, just pause the video. Let's get in it. <clears throat> the Elder Scrolls. The Elder Scrolls Arena. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. This is by far the best policy. The best techniques are passed down by survivors. And you, this just takes up time, so I'm going to cut out here. Hello! Hello and welcome back. I'm sorry I cut out there. Uh, I didn't want to waste time. So, we're going to click start a new game. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, you little sept in the seventh, Emperor Tamriel stands with Thalen, the leader of the Imperial Guards. They have been summoned by Jagger Tharn, the Imperial Battle Mage of the Empire on rumors of treachery. The Emperor has betrayed- No, we didn't see that coming! No! And transported to the dimension of Tharn's choosing. I'm guessing it's a plane of oblivion! After months of preparation, Jagger Thal takes the throne. The throne? This is just a power struggle. I don't know how to pronounce her name. One Starla's apprentice is captured bef and before she can warn the Elder Council of the Starla's treachery. Manipulating the essence of magic, Thrawn pretend prepares to take the true Emperor's place. The Emperor always, the wizard takes no time in gathering servants like Minotaurs. This is going to be hard, and turning them into twisted counterparts of the guard. Sounds bad, right? It's going to get a hell of a lot worse. I'm going to generate a class, guys. Okay. Ten questions I will be asked. Okay, so... I'll read these questions out loud, because some of them can be pretty funny. Arms Master Festal introduces a new student to the class, a small, awkward boy named Tice, who does not seem to have any natural talent at all. The class is divided into two sides for a mock battle. As one of the generals... Ooh, I'm already very important. <laughs> um, you are assigned to soldiers to position... Tyus is one of your men. You decide to A. Put Tyus in the front line with the other fighters, rationalizing that in any realistic battle he would probably be a casualty anyways, and that must there must be some sacrifices. Use Tyus as a scout, rationalizing that because of his small size, he would probably be good at sneaking, gathering information um, on the enemy. Assign Tyus to several positions during the post of the course of battle, Staying near him, helping him so he can gain valuable experience. Let's see if I got that right. Oh, and improve. I forgot the improve. We're going to pick C. Well, I'm going to pick C. Uh, you, you may be doing something different. Okay, you're told that a young man has been caught by the village guard and accused of murder. Apparently, his brother was killed by a group of four ruffians, ruffians, at a, in a local tavern. And in his grief, the young man tracked down each of th them down and murdered them. Upon reflection, you believe the young man acted honorably in avenging his brother's death. The village lord should let him go free. See, even as he sympathized with the young man's vigilante, vigilanteism can't be tolerated if there's to be peace. The young man's only mistake was getting caught. Yeah, I think it's A. Okay, see, the warrior sign's starting to go up a little. Like, right over here. <clears throat> you have a great aunt and great uncle in two different nearby villages, both of whom have... Let's just ignore that. Both of whom have asked your father to allow them to live with you for... Let you to live with them. Your father knows he pl where he plans to send you, but he's curious about your opinion and giving you the choice you'd rather... Wow. That is really... He's giving you the choice. 
I like um B live with the great uncle, a sick man who always um I'm I'm just gonna stop reading the thing. A friend has several occasions where he remarks how much he lo likes a particular gold ring of yours. One day you discover that the ring is missing after a tr thorough search. You find it coat in your um in your coat that your friend had left it in your pantry. You are inclined to ask your friend how he came, but the re ring re realizing that it's highly probable that he, that he found it and meant to return it to you. Confront him as a thief. You know that there is no way the ring has fell into his pocket by accident. Therefore, there is nothing, co but nothing who would betray you for a matter of gain. Say nothing instead. Wait and see what your friend does. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pick A. I'm honorable. You're you're hunting in the king's. Oh come on! I want the one about the sweet roll. Um, you're you're hunting in the king's hunt. The contest best where the best hunter wins riches and glory. And um, you track a white stag, uh, you know, friend bow, your friend kills it, um, a bee, because I don't want fame and glory, uh, your mother asks you, um, a pipe slips, I'm just kind of mumbling through this, because I'm already at six minutes, okay, push him, grab the hot pipe, because I'm awesome, oh, uh, this one's about your friend getting punished. Uh, you, I'm just gonna pick A. Come on, I want the one about the sweet roll. Uh, dr very well dressed man, yelling for help. Um, he screams for he you to help. Uh, this is the kind of I would just kind of um, C stand aside. Ah. Uh, this is just um, about the whole thing. See, cause I'm lazy. I don't want. I don't want to send like thousands of people, to, like half people, to their death. Your mother sends you to a market with a list of goods to buy. You finish making a mistake with the shopkeepers, giving you too much money in exchange for the items. Do you be? Uh. No, I want to pick my class, because I'm always a ranger. Oh yeah, never, like, when you're first playing, never pick a class that has magic, because magic is really hard to do. Okay, Arden. Let's get in this. I am going to be a male. Because, if you can tell by the deep voice, a deep voice. Okay, I'm from Skyrim, home of the Nords. Yeah, it, I, I will tell you later in a later episode, Elder Scrolls history, hour, or month, or whatever you want to call it. This is going to be called Getting the Boring Stuff Out of the Way, version 2. Okay, we want to, uh, I like the strength. I wanna, I wanna bump luck up to 16, 64, agility up to 50, to, to, agility is where I can actually hit something, strength where how hard I hit, and endurance is how much health I may have, save stats, Let's go pick with the strongest guy we see. Oh, yeah. Pretty boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nord. <laughs> okay, this is the girl. She's like, yeah, if you gotta take your side, I'm gonna help you. Yada, yada, yada. I fig just figured out a new tip. I don't want to hear from you. I'm just gonna cut out here. Never mind, I'm not. Hurry up! I would have had like two more slides. Okay. Good advice right here. Up your frame rate. Yeah, 
never want to forget to up your frame rate. God. Some of my advice, save your game right there. Remember, that was the original Ardan. He died twice. You always want to save your game periodically. Okay, let's get a sword out here. Next page. Broadsword. I'm a ranger. Broadsword. I wish I had a short sword. I'll find a short sword. Okay, first you need to get the ruby key, which is right here. It's called to walk on top of it. Never mind. Click on it. Oh, come on. Please don't let this be, like, impossible. Okay, we got it. We got the ruby key. Okay, my best advice for this dungeon. Run as fast as you can. West, then south. She says that in the thing, so... I'm gonna take her advice. Always grab this loot because it's not too far. Oh, nothing really good. Okay, west. Then south. I, I'm telling you, I'm going to get out of here as fast as I can. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I completely forgot. Let's see. Oh, crap. I completely forgot to have something. I thought I died there for a second. Why won't you die? Oh, if you guys can tell me um which one's the health one, I I think it's the red one because that's always what one it is. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother searching the goblins. They may have gold on them, but... Mm. My my philosophy is, is I'm getting the hell out of here as fast as I can. I mean, I'm getting out of here as fast as I can. Okay. Oh! Um... Holy crap, that worked! Oh yeah! Look! But I didn't level up, so that's bad. Cause I have to level up to get the next cutscene. But, we'll save that for another day.